Coach, if you wouldn't mind, just some thoughts about the ninth game. You have a couple of questions. Yeah, first game, I saw a lot of. Um, I could probably, uh, without even having watched that game, could have told you uh, before the game what I was going to say after the game. Uh, saw a lot of things I liked, a lot of things we have to uh, continue to get better at, um, and just keep working at it. You know, we're uh, November 12th. I thought we did a lot of things pretty good. But, you know, so I was just sitting there um, at one point tonight, just sitting watching and evaluating and thinking, uh, you know, Marcus has played one game here. I think Galen played 100 and how many did he play? One hundred and five, right? Something like that. You know, so Marcus's first game, that would have been Galen's 175th. Let's just pick a number. Uh, Corey's um, was uh, almost played on two back-to-back -back Sweet 16 teams. Caleb's uh, first game, and I had to remind myself, you got to be patient with this bunch. A lot of young guys out there. You know, Nate's a sophomore. Quinn's a sophomore. Uh, Caleb a freshman, Marcus a freshman. Um, Dejan has played, uh, has worked out four times since October 8th. He broke his hand on October 8th. So he's really rusty. Uh, Justin Gorham hadn't played a game in 20 months. Think about it, 20 months. So um, I thought it was spotty at times, thought it was good at times, but I'm not sure that, that I didn't expect that. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Um, uh, kind of a two-part question. What were some impressive parts of the team's play today, and how can you guys build on this? And then what were some not-so-impressive aspects, and how can you guys improve there? Um, impressive. Um, just going off the stat sheet, anytime you can out-rebound somebody, 21 rebounds. Um, it's usually a good sign. Um, and then you know, I thought our ball movement was really good. Missed a lot of... Um, point black shots, open shots, but we moved the ball well. Um, we have 15 assists, but that could have easily been 20, 23, 24 assists. Um, but you know, for me, it, it all comes down to how hard you compete. Um, I, I thought the um, the toughest kid on the floor tonight was number five for uh, Alabama State. You know, and I told him after the game that no um, handshake line. You know, you should be really proud of the way you competed tonight. He played really hard, you know, and, and we're not there yet. That's, uh, you know, Galen had no clue how to compete hard his freshman year. No clue. He was uh, not very good at that. Armani wasn't very good. You know, it, take, it takes time to do that. It's not something you can just plug in and have them be it. You've got to develop that. There's not one part of the game that uh, I don't think we're going to be pretty good at eventually. We're just not there yet. But as far as uh, what impressed me, what didn't impress me, um, let's just go with that. Can the, uh, <laughs> pressing defense and, and trapping be, be a weapon for this team? And I, well, I, that's a good question. I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, we've we were really good at it uh, in the scrimmage, but you know that's a high energy defense. You know, we were really good at it uh, in practice at times, not at times. I didn't think Nate was very good tonight. Um, at the top of it, uh, he, he wasn't um, his normal self. Um, I don't know if he's under the weather. I haven't really talked to him about that, but uh, he he triggers it. And Nate's Nate's uh, been really good at that. So that's just something that we're uh, you know we don't have the uh, post in the ground and cement with that. You know we're we're just, uh, we're not done with it by any means. But um, that's the only way they could score tonight in the first half is when her. That, that broke down. We're giving up open threes. Uh, so, but the big thing is, is when you set out of it, um, and I've had a lot of teams that played, you know, at, at um, Oklahoma, uh, we did that a lot. Uh, you know, one, two, two, and a two, two, one, when the, when the ball gets sided from one side to the other, is basically the same defense, you're in the same alignment. But um, that when you, go from your trap to your set defense or your base defense, uh, being able to recover out of that quicker. We just got to keep working at that. We're, we're um, um, need, need to get better in that area. But we'll watch the film and our kids can see it um, against a, a team that, that um, um, prepared for it. You know, the first two teams we, we did it against, I'm not sure they knew we, we were going to do it. 
but tonight they did. So just got to get better at that. But I, but I have a laundry list of things uh, we can uh, get better at. But, you know, when you play these games, there's, there's such a, an assumption of who's going to win. That's, that's really shouldn't happen. Basketball is not football. You know, uh, Evansville beats Kentucky tonight. Big upset, but it's basketball. You know, Winthrop um, University is from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Um, they beat the number 18 ranked team in the country last night. So, in college basketball, anybody can beat um, uh, in, literally anybody can beat anybody. Where's Kentucky ranked? Were they number one? <laughs> Um, but, you know, John had a harder time coaching his teams after that loss, excuse me, after the game against Michigan State than he did before. He could really coach those kids leading up to uh, Michigan State. But as soon as that game was over, um, you know, you, you, everybody tells you how great you are. Social media, you become a social media king. And, but he didn't have that before. <clears throat> and that's why keeping kids humble and keeping them hungry uh, today is a big part of uh, a coach's job because social media changes everything. Uh, it looked like um, you guys emphasized um, going into the post a lot on offense. Was that a game plan going in, or that was it just with the flow of the game? Yeah, no. It's a big emphasis with, um, you know, we watched them against Gonzaga. You know, that was a nine, ten-point game the second half against Gonzaga. I think it was 62-52 uh, or 61-52. You remember, Justin? We watched it on film. Um, it was it, – they were – I mean, Alabama State was right there at Gonzaga the other night. But um, watching them on film, we knew we had an advantage with Justin and Fabian. Um, and they were um, – you know, both of both those guys um, probably could have took a few more shots, especially Fabian early. I thought he was – Pass when he should have been trying to score. But uh, their coach did a good job of mixing up his double teams, too. Coach, in the um, first half, Alabama shot nearly 50%. Alabama State, Alabama State almost shot 50%. Alabama's in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> right. But um, they almost shot 50%, but in the second half, you guys limited them to only What were they one. in the first half? Hmm? What were they in the first half? Um, they were 6 for 13 from behind the art. Yeah. Those were tough shots, too, a couple of them. What changed defensively? Uh, not pre They were getting most of them out of our 12, out of the 1-2-2. Um, two, two. We weren't recovering to them fast enough. They were getting uh, wide open out of that. But once we stayed man-to-man, -man, they weren't getting those looks. But, you know, you give up. When you're running a little press like we're doing, uh, you're gonna give, there's a chance you're going to give something up because you always have two men on the ball in a trap, right? So that's two on one, which means they're four on three away from the ball. So if they move the ball, they're going to get an open shot. That's, the, that's what you decide. You made that decision that you, you possibly can give that up. So we either got to get better in the trap or get better at figuring out how to rotate to the shooter out of the trap. Um, but that's, that's why tonight's game was in. Practicing this is, is, is good, but it doesn't prepare you. You got to get in the game. That's why at some point you got to play a game to figure out what, you, what gets exposed. We got exposed there. Now the second half, I made an adjustment. The adjustments was quit strapping. <laughs> I said, I'm going to fix that real quick. I'm not going to get any of those threes anymore if we guard them. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll look at it. You know, we, we could have practiced another week and not known that. Uh, you can emphasize it, but, you, you know, you're, um, there's nothing that, that uh, forces you to take an inventory of what you need to work on than playing against live bullets versus practice. We've practiced and practiced and practiced. So now we don't have much breaks. You know, we've got, uh, and that's a good thing. We've got uh, a tough, tough stretch coming out. We've got BYU here uh, Friday, really good team. You know, Pennsylvania had one of the best wins of the season winning at Alabama. I mean, Pennsylvania is a good team, excellent coach. Well, they went to Rice and lost by 20. It tells you how good Rice is. That's why. These next three games we have coming up, I don't even know who we play after that, but we have uh, BYU, Rice, and uh, um, who's the other? Oregon. Yeah, you don't play good, you can lose any of those. You gotta play better, you gotta play good. And, I, and our team will get better. I like, I like our team, I really like our kids. And we just have some youth and experience where we're used to having seniors, we have uh, young guys. We just gotta be patient with them. 
Justin, was your offensive versatility something you knew that would help this team? Uh, yes. Uh, just last year, you know, working with the coaching staff during my red shirt year, they developed that into my game. So, yes. Justin, what was it like your first record team game in almost, what, two years? Yeah. It was good. Um, I feel like this summer, you know, the Italy trip helped that I played in competitive games. Um, but, you know, coming out here, I just had to buy into the culture of the program, you know, play hard and everything, and that was going to take care of itself. 